What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. Uh, I'll be your host, Glasses McGee. And I'm here with Michael McGee. Popper, yay! Is it that exciting? I don't know. I've never been uh, a huge Popper fan. <laughs> I've never been a huge Popper fan, but looking at this deck, I'm like, all right, this is some cool stuff. What do we got here? <laughs> this figure's preordain. Is that preordain? Mao. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got some preordains here. This is a deck submitted by Dalkery. Uh, we got this figure. Mm -hmm. What seems like such a waste? What are we referring to? Four accumulated knowledges, which are nice. Okay. Uh, one auger of bolus, which has an uncommon symbol. <gasps> Four counter spells. What, 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 what? Two chainers edicts. Two echoing uh, decay. Three probes. Mike, Mike's a big fan of that. Three Seagate Oracles. I don't even know what probe is. Three recoils. Uh, one Evan Carr's Justice. Two Mull Drifter. Three Dinrova Horror. And three Gurmag Anglies. Hmm. And probe is three mana. Draw three cards and discard two cards. If it was kicked, target player discards two cards. So you draw three, discard two, and then they discard two. All right. I want to jump into some cues here, I think. Well, it depends on which fire is faster. I guess we can do a league. Uh, a null is counter an artifact or an enchantment spell. Sure. Dispel, counter to instant. Uh, hy you guys know what these are. I don't know why I'm telling you what they are. Hydra Blast. Uh, you get one Duress, one Doom Blade. Two Thorn of the Black Rose, which is pretty sweet, because uh, this is Death Touch, and when it enters the battlefield, you just become the Monarch, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I feel like this should be the main deck. Like I just want to be the Monarch in, in all formats. Uh, I was gonna do some commander today, but Mike said he's got a poker game tonight, so I don't know if that's uh might have to maybe maybe tomorrow. But Mike has to work between five and nine tomorrow, so it's it's it got it got awkward. Uh, two more Evan Cars Justice in the sideboard, and then one Luxa River Shrine. Oh, being the Monarch versus Zagradex isn't great. See, this is what I don't know because I don't know Popper. So let's go to constructed. Oh, that's actually a really good point. It's like, I'm the Monarch, I draw one extra card. And then for the rest of the game, they always draw a card yeah. because they're attacking you. Friendly Popper Leagues only have 385 mm -hmm. players. I hope that... Does Popper fire? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. If, if these are the decks, I can't imagine it doesn't. Like, this deck is sweet. This deck is a work of art. Hey, man, what's your favorite kind of bog? Oh, Petey Schmitty Bog. So the answer he gave was the Petey Schmitty Bog. Yes. Okay. Just making, just want to confirm. Arena Poppers is a sea of mono red and mono blue petitioners. Well, the reason is because there's only like three sets on Arena. Like, I when I saw that this weekend, that this weekend they had the um, Popper was their special weekend thing that they do. And I was like... This seems terrible because you only have standard legal sets. Oh, Popper and only standard? Ew. Yeah, right? Yeah. Like, the, the the appeal of Popper is that you get cards, like, accumulated knowledge, which is like, draw a card, then draw cards equal number of knowledge in your graveyard. So when there's two in the graveyard, you're drawing three cards. You know? Didn't rove a horror. Four four that bounces the thing and makes them discard. Mull Drifters. Like, recoil. Return a permanent to its owner's hand, then that player discards the card. Like, there's a lot of things going on. Yeah, I usually only do Commander if Mike's around because he just has a better grasp of the format than I do. Okay, I'm going to leave this because I don't feel like anyone's joining. I'll just join this Popper League. And boy, I'm really hoping we can... I'm going to join the friendly one because there's only... There's 384 players in this one and 122 in the competitive. Apparently, the competitor competitive Popper world is not as... Uh, you know, com competitive, I guess. I don't know popular uh, I also find deck building restrictions to be a fun challenge which is why popper in 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 all of magic is pretty fun like you already have a, 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 a deck building restriction and I agree I think restrictions breed creativity that's literally a, a very popular adage but I mean I don't want that many restrictions Popular. How you stop grinding to play? I haven't grinded to play in the PT for like three years, man. 
And even then, I didn't grind. I didn't even grind to play in the PT then. I just happened to go to a GP in top eight. I've never been a grinder. I could care less about playing on the Pro Tour. Your mom breeds creativity. Wow, that actually sounds like a compliment. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Nice. That was efficient. I'm a fan. Mao. <laughs> I feel like those glasses really bring out your eyes. You know, they actually don't. These glasses do not bring out your eyes at all. Hmm. They actually make them an empty nightmare. They make your eyes an empty hand is amazing. I will keep this hand all day. I have no idea what we're going to play against here, just to be clear. Tell her secrets. No. You get to play with pre preordains. This format's broken. This format is broken. Uh, I'm just gonna keep both of these actually put on top, and then I'll put that on top of that so I can <clears throat> play this. So now we can preordain and play Dismal Backwater. Oh, green screen glasses would be amazing. You just get to look like you have no eyes, and we get to gain a life. Oh my god, we're so far ahead already. Basically, you can't lose. I don't know how we'd lose. Oh, I'm gonna keep both of these too. What do you do when you just want to keep every card in the deck? <laughs> every card is good. <clears throat> Mao. Is blue a really hot popular color? Is it is it a really pop popular color? Speaking of blue. Do you like my eyeshadow? Pretty good. Pretty good? Mm-hmm. Well, green screen glasses would pretty much just be green glasses, right? I don't know what this deck could have. Three islands, I don't know what they're going to have. Are they just going to counter this? Maybe. Is that fine? I guess so. It's totally fine if they counter that. It's a 1-3, bro. But it draws you a card. Yeah, one whole card. Yeah. That just fuel for our delve. I don't even care about it. I don't care about you. Well, that's rude. No, that's not true. I lied. I'm sorry. All right, I'm just going to pass with Accumulated Knowledge and Counterspell up. Wow, look at you guys. This looks like fairies. You guys are like, oh, a pauper expert. Oh, well, it just got worse. Probably let that one slide. I'm probably actually going to kill it now because if they have a second one in hand, then they get to counter our Echoing Decay. <clears throat> Now we get to accumulate knowledge. God, we just have it all. We can actually play an angler. Or a dangler. Or a wangler. I think we delve it up. Delve, leave well, so here's the off. thing. We can't, okay, they're going to pay two. And then we have to delve all five. And I don't really want to get rid of the accumulated knowledge. So, well, you. Well, I wanted to draw an island so I can play another island. You think they got another spell star sprite in hand? I just don't think it's worth the chance of not hitting an island. But we did, Buddy, so listen. I guess I'm dumb. You don't even know how islands work, my dude. Oh, actually. Oh, we could now we could have played it. Dang it. I'm not good at this game. Yeah, that would probably have been a pretty good idea. Shut up, Michael. <laughs> Shut up. Oh. So we're going to one, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Pay two of these gentlemen. Get my dangler on. Are you going to really counter this? Can I counter your counter spell? So that my angler dangler lives? The dangler. The germag dangler. That's what they used to call me. They used to call you the germag dangler? Mm-hmm. When? When, when Back is this? Back in 1960, turtle. 1960 turtle? Mm -hmm. I didn't know you were that old. 
Oh, oh my god. Ninjas. Ninja say what? Do they say what? Yeah. Ninja says what? Ninja says what? I mean, they drew a card and all, but... You're just going to go for it? Well, yeah, why not? They only We know they have spell search right in hand. They didn't have a counter spell because they would have countered this guy. That's true. That's a good point. The Dangler. Get busy dangling. That's what I always say. Well, that's unfortunate. See, that's a good that's good to know that they run days. I had no idea. I don't think I'm attacking here. Really? Yeah, I don't want them to draw their card. Yeah, but you get to smash for five. And they get to draw a card. Which do you think is stronger? I think smashing for five. If there was a card that said pay five life, draw a card, I'd do it. Oh, you are desperate to draw a card. Well, I just like my cards, Michael. <clears throat> pay a quarter of your life. Draw one card. Would you pay a quarter to draw a card in real life? Like an actual quarter? Yeah. I guess so. Same thing. Still, you killed it anyway. Didn't even matter. Should have attacked. I'm going to draw land so I can dinner of a horror here. What the hell is that thing? I don't know, man. Some kind of nerd. Well, I drew a third Dinner of a Horror and not a land. That is unfortunate. That is. Especially when our opponent is tapped out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I agree. I could recoil this, but then they just attack us with this. And then they get another card. Get busy dangling again, I guess. Because all I want to do is dangle. My dangle. Don't have another one. They didn't They didn't have anything. They suck. They suck at this game. Wow, there's a lot of counter spells are drawn. Is that three? Good lord. You should play more lands in your deck. You should play more lands in your deck, Michael. What are you going to discard? He's been Ricolod. Ricolod? Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Ricolod. Oh, wow. <laughs> ah. oh, yeah, I see what you did there. I don't know if I liked that I saw it, but I did see it. It was observable to me. Did I counter this? You know, all they play is crappy creatures, so you might as well. Also, like, the funny thing is if they... Uh, didn't discard this they could really I see yeah landing ball's legal this format's crazy this format is crazy but however I'm gonna draw land right now and then to neuro horror this guy back to their hand so I'm okay with it you ready you ready I'm ready you better be ready Oh god, don't daze me again. Oh, they don't have anything. Bounce this idiot. So I believe they still have spells that are sprite. Oh, no, no they, they don't. don't. Alright. Sure. Hey, sure. Sure, Bert. Hey, sure. Sure, Bert. Why is this guy only a 4-4? Four -four? That's sad. Let's do it again. Well, I don't want to bounce this guy. Why not? Because then they get to replay it and draw on their card. I mean, I just played Dinner of a Horror because they have. We know one of their cards is a ninja. Oh, you can bounce lands with that? You can bounce whatever you want, man. This card's broken. Also, it's like a starfish. Yep, that's a good one. Not bouncing that either. Also, it's like a starfish. 
That's true. It is like a starfish. <clears throat> what do you get for the man that has oh god, bouncing their mall drifter with a uh, with ninja? Can I get Nevercar's justice here? I can still find one. A probe? Oh, that's pretty good. Let us discard. Definitely want to keep it this figure. I don't yeah. think we need the dual land. Well, I mean, we're going to play a land. We're not going to be able to cast anything. So we're going to just get rid of island. Oh, sure. And. Oh, God, I really wish I had a black source here. Probably the recoil. Two grand champion show choir trophies? That sounds insane. Yeah, probably recoil. It's just worse than... Actually, it could have just been land. At this point, we only need the land, but... Maybe I just want the one life. I'm going to pass. Yeah, I wish we actually played the land first, then tapped everything, keeping the Dismal Backwater up. I didn't think about the Disfigure. Oh, it's okay. You, you drew a Flame Slash anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter. It's like your third Flame Slash. It is literally your third Flame Slash, yeah. I have played two Denrova Horrors. You have flame slashed both of them. You need to bounce the Mold Drifter? Every card they play is insane. What's that about? All I want to do is accumulated knowledge. I got mean him. Okay. Okay. So we can actually bounce. Wait, what? They didn't bounce the Mold Drifter? What did they bounce? No, they bounced the. The Seagate Oracle? Yeah. That's weird. That's really? I, I guess because it lets them recast it that turn? That's, that's a weird for me, dog. So we could disfigure. Romag Angular. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just killed a ninja. And probably keep up counterspell too. One, two, three, four, five, six. I guess I should pay a black, huh? One, two, three. This guy. One, uh, two. I don't, know. I don't know about that. I don't actually know what I have in the deck. Un undo that. No. Can I? I can't unselect a guy. Okay, whatever. I guess it doesn't matter. I think all it matters is the accumulated. All right. Well, even these draw you cards. <sighs> Feels bad, but like all their things are like dumb idiots. You got to counter. Right. That's the thing. Like. Are you you have another ninja? Oh my god. There's always another ninja, apparently. This deck is pretty infuriating actually. Nope, that ain't what we're looking for. And you have a counterspell. Wow. These guys' draws are insane. You've drawn all th three counter spells and two ninjas and three flame slashes. Every card lets them draw cards. Guess I'll take one. Island. I'm just going to go to the next game. I feel like we tried. Yep. Okay. All right. Evan Carr's Justice for Days. 
Uh, Doomblade seems good here. I don't even think I like Counterspell that much. I could take out like two Counterspells. Recoil also doesn't seem that great. Like, I don't want to bounce their guys. Dispel seems pretty okay. Don't want to give them... Uh, no, definitely not. No, definitely not. Yeah, everything else seems good. I don't think... Eh, Duress could be good, actually, but... Hmm. What do I think about Thank the... You. Uh, what do I think of London Mulligan? I think London Mulligan is pretty alright. I'm looking forward to it. Rosie O'Donnell, welcome back. Thanks for being Frank. You too, Mike. Thanks for being Frank. Everybody's Frank. We're all Franks here. I think it's just fine. Oh, actually, yeah, I agree. Counterspell is probably better than Chainer's Edict, but Chainer's Edict, you get at least uh, a bunch of things off of it. I'll keep this hand. Two accumulated knowledge and preordain. That's all I ever wanted. That's all I ever wanted. Definitely keeping both of these. And I want you back. You know that song? Maybe. You might know it. Oh, wow. We're going to draw so many cards, dude. Oh, this is my fairy miscreant. Oh, I got a little guy, and I'm gonna do 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 do. I've got a little guy, and I'm gonna do 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 do. Is there a problem with what I said? Do 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 do. I mean, they're gonna ninja here, because that's just what they do. It's pretty gross what they do. I would. I agree. I'm gonna vomit in my mouth. They didn't do it. They don't have ninjas? Get out of here. You gonna let me draw two? Joke's on you. I got another one in hand, my dude. Oh, that's really good. Well. I've got two fairies. They have no graveyard? That's so weird. All right. I'm tempted to just play Evan Carp's Justice here. We don't have to, right? It's going to draw three. Seems good. So I want to be I want to play this with five because it gets around days, but also like I want to get another free dude out of it. So, yep. I could just play this now, right? Seems like an okay spot to do it. I guess we could play Seagate Oracle, right? So you need seven mana to buy it back? Yeah, and it causes them to have to deal with this guy. One, two. Cause I want you back. We want Doomblade or Seagate Oracle number two. Just want another land. We got another land. I want even more. No, you don't, because then you get greedy. Greed is good. Oh my god. What do we take here? It's actually a tough call. Like, the Doomblade just killed. I guess I'm not worried about anything that. I'm just going to take the Seagate Oracle. 
That's a quote from Gordon Schmecko. Gordon Schmecko. Who? Gordon. Why is your thing so low? What? So those slouches. Don't worry about it. I am worried about it. You can't contain me in your frame. <laughs> I could try. <laughs> Do that again. Okay. Well, <laughs> well, I'm just looking at the bottom. No, you're not. Clean it up. You know what you're doing. Oh, now the lightning bolt to it. This is great. Yeah, his deck is good. It doesn't do anything, is the problem. Oh, Relic of Progenus. You can crack it right now. Wow. That's crazy, man. Now I'm gonna have cars justice all your way your whole life. Gotta watch out for days though. I got seven mana. My actually, do I just wait to buy back? Ugh. No, I can't. I don't have the luxury of doing that. <whistles> all right. Every Michael, yeah. Rock your Michael right. Michael's back. Do you guys see Chan's changes to the Legacy Cube? I did not. Are they good or bad? You gotta let me know. Just tell me now. Oh, it's a little mull drifty. Oh, little Muldrifty, living in the Muldrifter Sea. Chainer's Edict, you, my dude. Sacrifice your little bird man. Your little bird man. You know what I'm talking about. You know what you know about the bird man. Daddy knows about the bird man. Ooh, that's weird. Don't say that. Uh, okay, I guess you got it. You're doing very good with your relic of progenies. Progenies? Progenies. Progenies. Hey, Progenies. I want to take that for sure. Rakdos return out. Okay, well, keep going. That's one. Took out Assemble Legion and Perforos. Yeah, that's, that's whatever. I was a big Assemble fan, but I can understand taking it out. You got it. You got it. Everything is... How many relics do they have? Jeez. Well, that was the second one. It's been on board the whole time. They already got rid of that. The, they got rid of the first one, then they, they got rid of the second one. Hey, Michael. Yeah. Oh, oh, they didn't have counter spell for that. Wow, that's surprising. I have to discard two cards now. That's rough. Let's get rid of disfigure. Really? What do you, What do you want to get rid of? Probe. Yeah, no. I think pro. What? It makes them discard two and us draw three. Yeah, but like all that matters is their board state. Why do you have to discard two cards? God. I don't know. Two cards this is a lot. rough. I don't think we really need preordain because what are we digging for? Maybe it is just this figure. Yeah, I think it's this figure. Read TJ's comment. Hey, Frank, I don't know if you saw my YouTube comment, but I want to thank you and stream on the whole lawn. I need a good laugh. Yeah, dude, I definitely did, actually, and I really appreciate you saying so. Um, but I'm also, like, super sorry you've had to go through that. It sounds pretty rough. Really glad that, uh, that I could have helped, I guess. That crosses a line. Oh, 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 don't pass my turn. Okay. Whew. That was a close one, boys. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I guess we're just playing this guy. 
Still gets to keep up echoing decay. What up, Chris? Oh, I have a counter spell. You're gonna play stir stiff stiff water cliffs. You gonna use that? You're gonna red. You gonna hydro blast pyro blast it? Sure, buddy. You got it. You got it. Rude. Buddy. That was rude. Very rude. I do not like. You like? No. You like? Oh man, come on at me, bro. They never don't have this guy, do they? I guess a lot of blue. Nope, guess. Yep, there we go. We did it. Yeah, never don't have a counter spell. He had a different ninja. That's unbelievable to me. There's too many ninjas. He's going to make an infinite ninja loop. No, he's not. <laughs> Well, they still have spells that are sprite in hand, so maybe he is. Thank you, Morgan. Thank you so much for the gifted sub. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Wow, I really don't want to play anything. I feel like I'm in such bad shape here. We're gonna play angler here and get rid of pretty much everything. So we don't have to get rid of everything, do we? One, two, three, four, five. Keep up disfigure. Keep up counter spell. Get rid of disfigure. Preload in. All right. I just want a blocker, really. I don't like probe because they have six cards in hand, so it's not really going to do anything to make them discard their two weakest cards. What up, Denmark? I'll block. Oh, you didn't want to attack me? Hmm. Oh, that's a good card. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Chicken to China, to Chinese chicken. Having rump snack, Mike's mom starts picking. Watch an X smile on Mike's face. And if he did, he. It truly really isn't your best work. <laughs> it's not. Uh, it's, it's, you're right. All right, so we're definitely getting rid of Chainer's Edict. Probably accumulated knowledge because it just draws one now. And now we're on even footing. So we know they have spell stutter sprite. Oh, now no, they don't. And we know they have one ninja in hand. So that's good to know. I just feel like I can never attack because they're stupid ninjas. It's really arg it's really arg aggravating. Are you scratching your leg? Did you yes. have an itch? Yes. Oh, they have another spell setter sprite. Um I think you let it resolve and then kill the ninja when he when he when he smacks when he ninjas it. Yeah, but here's the thing, if they ninja it, we can't kill this because they'll have spell setter strip sprite back in hand. Oh, true. But they're probably just going to... I'm going to try to no-sir this. And it's never going to work, obviously. Wow. Does this work for us? Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. <sighs> no, they literally had Never don't have it all. Wow, that's unbelievable. I mean, on, on the bright side, we get to have Incar's Justice, so... We're playing against the luckiest player alive? Clearly. So we know they have another ninja in hand, though, I think. So it's like... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 
We have enough to play around days, which is nice. We're also going to four here, though, which is not nice. They get to keep Seagate Oracle. They get to play Seagate Oracle. Bounce it. Play the, the, th the third ninja. Yeah. That's like, this is, this is unbelievable just having three ninjas every single game. There's always three ninjas in the first 30 cards of your deck, which is pretty insane. Yep. And back up to four cards again. Jesus. They never they never run out of counter spells is the thing. It's actually kind of impressive. Remember that time we had Moldrifters in our deck? Me too. Even if we Evan Carr's Justice here, we just go down to one. Yeah, we're basically dead. This game's over. We just can't keep up with our card advantage. Correct. I mean, we can bounce Dismal Backwater. Oh, backwaters, keep on rolling. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. And we can't actually Chainer's Edict and Evan Carr's Justice. So we're going to end up getting rid of one Mall Drifter. They attack with all three. The one we don't block, they kill us with. So, all right. I have no idea how you beat that man. That deck, that deck seems insane. It's like playing against fairies. You're like playing against fairies. Michael is a biscuit baby. I dislike playing against that deck as well. Same. Yeah, I just had a miserable time, unfortunately. I hope I hope the rest of Popper is more diverse than that, because that just seemed really not enjoyable. But other than that, like the, the deck seems great. Nope, that's as diverse as it gets. Oh, no. I always want to play Island over Mountain or Swamp. Or Mountain, too. I, actually, I always want to play Island over Mountain. Okay, they got a Radiant Fountain here. They got so ahead of themselves that they, they clicked on their, their Radiant Fountain before they clicked on their Demir Aqueduct. There's no greater feeling in life than drawing an accumulated knowledge off of your accumulated knowledge. Okay, you ready? Ugh. I don't want to swamp here. I kind of just want to preordain. Preordain can find us a better land than a swamp, I guarantee it. You guarantee it? Yeah, you heard me. It is three cards deep. Oh, I do like Pristine Talisman. Why aren't we running that card? Recoil. Because someone mentioned it one time. Recoil one time. Uh, I don't want either of these, really. Ah, there we go. Alright, now we're talking. Look how look how aggressive I'm gonna get now. Be aggressive. Be e aggressive. You know that song? That's a classic internet meme. Who do you think I am? I don't know. Hold Hold on. On. Who do you think I am? <laughs> God. It's Do you know if you were born this beautiful or if it took years of practice? 
Is it all natural? No, I had to work hard for it. I bet. I bet, man. I like we can probe and discard these disfigures. What's going on in this art? Can someone tell me? A probe. Who's this mustachioed man? Who's this merful creature? I don't know what's going on here. I want some flavor text on this thing. They only have one blue, though, which is pretty interesting here. How do you feel about that? What? Why do you like this? Yeah, you can kind of tell it's Sabo, Sabo Tavok. Is that, what, is that how it's pronounced? Uh, because of the Fu Manchu. Oh, wow. Wow, it resolves and we didn't hit a land. That's pretty crazy. Uh, I think Echoing Decay is better than Disfigure here. And I think Disfigure is pretty bad. It's okay, we both discard two. Totally fair. Oh, they got their own Echoing Decay. And they were like, yeah, this card does suck. She's probing a Metathran? Wow. Take your porno talk out of here, buddy. <laughs> oh, wow. Look at this dude. A Gary. Gary! Oh, that was a good draw. Yeah, that was a decent draw. It was Dece, you might say. Would you think? Would you say it was Dece plus? <gasps> wow, we get to Chainer's Edict and keep up Counterspell. Oh wow, we have it all. We have it all, and we have it. And that's not how the song goes, I guess. Remember that time you were probing a Metathran? No, I can't recall. Well, I believe the fifth. That's not what pleading the fifth is, though. Those are two different things. I plead the recall. You plead the recall. I want to keep one of these, and it's this one. There's something wrong with my B today. I don't know what it is. Something wrong with Mike's eyes. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we're going to bounce it next turn because I want to have Counterspell back up. Because they could have Mana Leak, I guess. They could have different things. I don't know what this format has, so. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Hey, man, have you ever considered wearing glasses? Wearing them right now. Oh, yeah, good point. What? That's a yikes for me, dog. That seems definitely counterable. We can also probe and make them go down to one card here. We have a lot of options. I don't really want to... Do Actually, probing seems good because we get to keep a counterspell again. Let's get rid of Echoing Decay. Let's get rid of just both the... Let's get rid of Echoing Decay and probably both Echoing Decays. They went down to one card. We're keeping kind of spell. They went down to one card. I went down to one card. That's from Parks and Rec. Don't do it. Don't do what? Don't do it. No. Why? weird because it's like you got a tiny mouth <laughs> you sure got a tiny mouth it's gonna be a land don't be a land i'm asking you nicely it wasn't a land do we just probe them again and just get rid of all the cards
and then follow up with an angly dangly. Oh wow, they didn't even do anything. They were just like, okay, I got rid of a dismal. I got rid of two dismals. They have no cards left in their hand. Oh, Chainer's Edict. Oh, we can Bajuka Bog that. Wow. See, this match is much better for us. And then we can be like, Angly Danglies. I don't know if I want to play that yet, though. I want to keep a counter spell. Oh, they have no they have any cards in hand. <laughs> what are you talking about? I don't know, man. I would have played two Danglies. Oh. You know what? Maybe you're onto something here. One, two, one, two, three, four. It's nice that none of our cards actually do anything. Except for accumulated knowledge. You can pretty much just go ham. These are my danglies. <laughs> Don't say that out loud. These are... Well, I can't say it in my head. Sure you can. Look at my danglies, Michael. These are my danglies. No. Did we win the game? We did. <laughs> Congratulations. Okay. I don't like double dangler here. Why not? Why wouldn't you like that? Oh, yeah. Thorn of the Black Rose seems OP. I don't like justice, but whatever. It could be a win condition. How so? You could deal two damage to each player. I will donate more to make sure they aren't. What's going on? How much do I have to donate to the channel for those glasses to be melted with a blood torch? <laughs> These glasses are amazing, dude. You can thank Kerwit for these glasses. He's actually the avant-garde uh, genius behind... I kind of just wanted an all over in Avancar's Justice. Like, it just gets rid of, like, a pristine talisman. I don't know what else they have as far as artifacts go. Everything else seems good here, though. I'll sell my power to fight this good fight. <laughs> well, Anel doesn't counter enchantments so I don't think it's going to have any effect on Oubliette and Pestilence I will keep Oubliette 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 over 100 changes to the Legacy Cube I tweeted the article I, haven't, I don't check Twitter that much you have a much better chance of uh, getting to me on Facebook oh they were like after three probes last game they're like not again Tap land. Recoil. Okay, I accept. I accept. A null counter's artifact? Uh, enchantments? What am I thinking of? Steel Sabotage? A null seems a lot better then. Wow. This is why I don't play Pauper. Wow, double duress, huh? Well, see you later. You ready? Are you ready for this? That's from that song. You know that song? That's from that song. You know that song. Why'd you just repeat what I said, man? Just wanted to make sure you said it right. Did they just keep a no no blue land hand because they have double duress? Oh no. Oh, that's getting That's getting Oingo Boingoed. Oingo Boingoed. You heard? With Purd. That is from that song. Boy, I know it. Wow, they just discarded the same Demir Signet that I gave them back. And next time we get to play Thorn into no blue mana. Oh, that's insane. This game's over. What the hell is that? Defender? Pro Black? What the hell is that? A booger? A booger. It looks like a booger. <laughs> Hang like a booger. <laughs> That's rude. You're being rude. God, just drawing all the cards. Just got back from getting my new contact prescription. Can't have LASIK like you, and I can see again. It's great afternoon, everyone. Hey, buddy. Zimmy Pod. Congrats on being able to see you again. 
I was hoping for a land. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know why. Well, actually, we can probe. Probe. We could also chain his edict them. I guess we'll probably do that. You know what I'm gonna do though? I'm gonna use this guy instead. Joke's on you, I never run out of probes. Wow, they sacrificed that guy? That's crazy. Wham, wish I had that guy during my turn. I'm trying that guy during my turn. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm getting a call from Minnesota. Do you guys know anyone in Minnesota? Should I answer this? Oh, from Minnesota. I don't want this to. I don't want them to have the thing. All right, this is actually. I don't like how this ended. This is actually scaring me a little bit now. I'm not a fan. I need ways to get around these things and I don't know what to do. This is awkward. <whistles> it's that guy in the wood chipper. Oh man, that's a Fargo reference right there. Uh, I like discarding one accumulated knowledge and one Dispel? Sure. They get to go to one card. I mean, they do have this, but they have no blue. Is it Lil Boofy calling from prison? I don't think Lil Boofy went to a prison in Minnesota, but there's a one second voicemail associated with it. Wow. What a great message. Someone said, am I the only person that thought all the screwing around with all those glasses and close-ups was obnoxious? One of the comments and all I saw was people saying it was hilarious. I couldn't stand it. I'm just going to be like, this is what's known as a difference of opinions. They are common in life. With a happy D face. So I, I, I'm not perceived as aggressive. Mike, what do your elf eyes see? Everything. Oh, wow. Everything. I see what you did. Who? That was nasty. What are you talking to? Everyone. <laughs> okay. You're in rare form today, buddy. Wrench mind? I don't wrench mine. So next time we're going to play this, this, and this. That's my... That's what I'm thinking. Oh, if they don't crack that... Oh, wow, this is going to work out well for us. If they didn't... Them, them not cracking that is pretty huge. Look, man, if you're not watching for the glasses, what are you watching for? What's your life really about? Two, three, four, five, six. I wanted the focus on the game because I need a professional magic super drone. <laughs> that sounds about right. I feel like you really nailed the, the sound there. I'm just going to bounce with this. Oh. You Okay. Pro Black is pretty obnoxious, not gonna lie. Yeah, but it doesn't really do anything either. You don't really do anything. <laughs> yeah, got him. Are you gonna play something? Are you gonna crack this now? No, you decided against it. Okay. Pestilence. Woo! Where's my annul?
Are you going to let me draw two? Or are you going to let me draw one? Because you can draw your two, or you can draw your one. I actually could have cast this, couldn't I? I made them one, two, three, four, five. I should have done that. No, they're not going to do it. Oh, they didn't crack it. Oh, wow. One, two, three, four. Oh, wow. That's pretty crazy. Oh, they did crack it. Okay, sure. Well, at least we ideally get to be the monarch again. Uh, they don't really have anything I care about. Five damage is going to kill everything, though. That's pretty obnoxious. Thank you. Well, that would have been good. Glad I was able to catch you live, level of the content. Thank you so much, man. Icarus, really appreciate the sub. Welcome back. Um, yeah, any order's fine, whatever. Get him. They have one card in hand, so even if they wipe the board, like, we're ahead on life, so we would kill them first. I kind of just want to counter that. Not really, though. I guess it doesn't do anything. Pestilence plus the wall is pretty, it's pretty something. Uh, four damage? Sure. You got it. One. A two. A three. A four. You got it. Well, that's not exciting. Dismal backwater. Do they still have any blue mana? What's going on? Do they board into like a mono black deck? If we play this, they just kill it. Like, yeah, I'd rather really save it for when you want to become the monarch again. I always want to be the monarch. All right. The monarch. Oh, that's sad. That's sad that you would do this to me. Alexa, stop. Why don't you do that? Sure. Well, that's weird because you kind of shut off your pestilence with that, but... You know, whatever. You got it. Joke's on you, buddy. <laughs> oh, they are mono black. Interesting. No. That changes everything. Oh. Um, well. Oh, Chainer's Edict seems insane. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine mana. Oh, wow. That's insane. Put on top. I'm going to put... No. Nah. All right. The draw to discard to you. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. He was an edict boy, and then he was... Oh, that'll do. All right, Chainer's Edict times dose. I'll give you the good games. I'll give you the good gamos. We did it. God, we're good at this game. Man, these, these games have been... These games have been pretty, uh, pretty one-sided. I'm gonna go get some Apple J. Apple J, opals and bonobos. I love that your Alexis randomly speaks to you. Offer. Oh gosh, she's gonna, she's gonna hear that. I think we I think we made it. I think we got in the clear. I forgot to warn you these are insanely grindy games. That is that has been true so far, yes. I feel like it's all card advantage. Spook it.
He's coming back, guys. Don't say anything. Oh, I got a glass of apple juice. Smug it. Oh, now, now we get stuck. Now we're like, oh, we did it. Dang. Uh, if you guys can link me to the Legacy Cube thing, I'd rather not have to go find it. That seems miserable. Does this condensate? No. Okay. You don't know how water bottles work, man? Some do. Those are bad water bottles. If you guys have a water bottle, like a thermos, that, that has condensation, like, it's shit. And it's not actually keeping your liquids hot or cold. Cube starts next Wednesday, so literally s eight days, seven days. Removal of blue, blue Devotion and the Devotion Gods. That seems good. I don't think those are good in the... I don't want either of these because I have no black sources. There we go. We're playing Henry Ford? Wow. Mono... The Devotion Gods and the Blue Devotion payoffs have been removed from the Legacy Cube. The reasoning behind this change is that we want to give identities to the different cubes we offer. Uh, modern cube is much more about putting permanence onto the battlefield and creature combat. As a result, we decided to move the devotion themes to modern cube. This provides the legacy cube a few more toys to play with as it tries to strike a balance between fairness of modern cube and the power of vintage cube. I like that so far. I don't want to play this yet. I just kind of want to play this. Keep up counter spell. See what happens. Okay, so a red deck, eh? Monocolored cards with flashback cost of a different color are now considered a monocolored. What does that mean? I'm going to counter this because I don't feel like dealing with this every single turn. Oh, historically we've considered a card like Lingering Souls or Ancient Grudge to be a white, black, or red, green card, respectively. This has always felt a bit off as there are plenty of times people play these cards in monocolor. Why would you consider them two colors? These cards taking up gold slots have prevented us from putting in exciting gold cards that actually reward you for being an open color. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. I've never done that with my cube. For that reason, all cards with flashback cost of different color be considered monocolored for the purposes of color balance. Sure, that's that's good. That's a pretty logical change. The anesthesiologist put me to sleep too early and had to wake me up to ask me to scoot over to the other bed. Apparently, I scored like an I scored like an inch and gave a thumbs up. My doctor made fun of me after scored. What does that mean? Scooted, maybe? Scooted. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, yeah. The <laughs> like, you nailed it. Yeah, but I asked you to move, and you literally just scooted over an inch and gave me a thumbs up. My bad. Oh, look how lonely this sandbar is. Did you know that he was a skater boy? You said see a looter boy. See a looter boy? Yeah, because he's a scooter boy. Daniel Radcliffe? I don't get that joke. Wow. That's aggressive. Lightning bolt. Hitting you in the dome. Well, they're going to make this G2 Lava Runner a 2-2 a two -two is what, my, what I'm presuming. I think the viewer experience would be better if the camera is in the opposite corner of the screen as there's the air the client becomes dead space when you have less cards at hand and the chat went up. Yeah, but I mean... It feels weird because I'm not looking that way. You know what I mean? Like when I'm looking to my left, I'm looking to my left on the screen. So I'd have to like reverse it or I'd have to be staring at the wall. So like... Does that make sense? Am I like... It feels like... I would either be like looking this way towards the wrong way, like I'm looking at the the wrong side of the screen, 
or I'm reversing it horizontally, which also feels awkward. Oh, they didn't? What did they do? Did they rift bolt? Okay, well, that's fine. Alright, that's just fine. Yeah, there's really no... Like, this is why this is why I don't actually use the full screen. This is actually why I make it uh, sort of a, a, smaller, a smaller screen within the overlay. Because then I have some space where, like, it's not fully taking up the, the bottom. But it's also, like, there's no really... I don't know. There's no real like. It's all. It's all a compromise. And then I'd have to like move everything over to the left, and like I'd have to redo the whole overlay because the overlay is one. It's one. It's one piece. It's one solid image that I've made. So like, if I get rid of it, it's all gone. Well, I feel like we're at thirteen right now, so I don't actually feel like we're doing terribly. They also didn't do anything there, so. I kind of like Mull Drifter here. Maybe? Yeah, I'd slam it. <laughs> I'd slam a mall drifter. We could also just probe them, put them down to three. Yeah, Alright, whatever. I think what's is asking to flip the camera. Yeah, I agree. I, I know. I but I but I addressed that. I know that's what he's asking. I said it's it would feel weird if I flipped it because then I'm horizontal then I'm I'm backwards basically and it's disingenuous. Like it doesn't feel it doesn't feel natural to me. Ben, I literally mentioned that. <laughs> I said that that would be their option that I would have to do. Is flip it 180. Also, I mean, the other the alternative is also we can cut Mike's head off, and then it doesn't cover as much of the cards. Oh, 180 degrees. Yeah, we can do that. That's probably better. Let's get rid of this, and I'll get rid of this. This is the this is the high quality content. I like this more. <laughs> Alternatively, here here's another option. There we go. Now we're covering no cards. Right. No, I'm saying if I mirrored the image, it feels awkward to me as someone who's watching, who's regularly checking the reflection. Like, so I'd feel awkward because I'm looking at the mirrored image and not the regular image. So everything is backwards to me. Ceiling boys. But on the bright side, that lower left corner is completely free. They have two cards in hand, so we can actually... Do we play a land last turn? We played an island. And we drew this. Okay. A priority enforcement. alternative you switch i mean this seems like a lot of work now <laughs> it's like i don't know man all right i'm going back to normal now because i can only take so much all right um i just can't wait to be flipped do, 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 do. i like making them discard their last two cards i also like bouncing this and making them do that but we don't have the mana for that now could still do that we don't have the mana for it how can we still do it if we don't have the mana for it we could do it slowly you know one step at a time one step at a time I think we just probe them and next turn we bob them next turn we bob them 
get a priority in first on. Why? What does that do? I'd rather just if we hit an island, I'd rather just give up counterspell. What are we looking for with Preordain? Oh, I forgot that thing draws you cards. Yes. You forgot the probe you thought it was just a five mana discard too? Maybe. I looked up from work and thought my iPad's display had rotated. Oh wow, this is amazing. Well, okie dokie. I guess they didn't discard anything after all. Get rid of this and get rid of a recoil, I guess. We'll play the land. Go to three. So any one... Yeah, this is amazing. I felt like we were really doing well here. I'll put you on the bottom and I'll actually put you on top because you're just one more life, my friend. We're just going to die of that stupid heartbeat thing. No, we just recoil it and then we counter on the way back down. So they discard something stupid, I bet. Thank you. Code Mancac, thanks so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Well, they discarded the heartbeat. I'm tempted to actually... Actually, oh, I wish I had an untapped land. I'm tempted to actually bounce this and make them discard one more card. I feel like that's actually kind of safe here. Wow. So they either discard the one card that's not in a land. Okay, well, that's fascinating. They probably just had another land in hand. If they, well, if they do, then they don't have a spell, right? So. Oh god, they're just gonna kill us. Oh god, we got so greedy. We got so greedy! Oh, man. You done messed up, A.A. Hey, Ron! Why'd it take so long? Why are you gonna slow roll that? Come on. I thought you was pretty fast. No, it took forever. It took like a year, dude. Luxor River Shrine, Duress, Hydra, 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 Dispel, Dispel. All these come in. I don't think I care about Chainer of the Edict. I have Disfigures. Wow, what a shock. Uh, it was the Lightning Bolt. I mean, they had no lands in play. I didn't feel like it was that bad. Yeah, it was a lightning bolt, Michael. Boo. Boo. How much ice do you have put in your... Man, dude, you go through so much ice, it's unbelievable. That's why I pay the ice bill. No, you don't. <laughs> I eat as much ice as Felipe takes showers. Yeah, so basically what you're saying is I use the least water in the house and I play, pay more than you guys do. That's That's good. So here's the thing. They didn't play their second land the turn before that. They stayed on one land. So I didn't think they had another land in hand. They also didn't bolt me. So I didn't think they had a bolt in hand. You see what I'm saying? Like they 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 passed the turn with one land when they could have easily played another land. So they didn't play a second land and they didn't lightning bolt us when they could have easily killed us. So I mean this is the same match, so it's not another it's not another aggro deck, it's just the same aggro deck. Uh, I don't want either of these, I need lands. You okay? Mike B is causing global sea rise to eat so much ice, wow. There's no way you can eat the ice equivalent to water used in a shower. Yeah. That's Try me, buddy. <laughs> well, I guess I should. You not. have no idea of my power. You have no idea how high I can fly. I can kill this, right? Dang. By played you, I mean did something derpy. Yeah, that's a good translation for it. Oh, Lord. 
Can I gain my one life, please? This is being ridiculous. I know these lands are tilting because they gained me life, but come on. You're come better. on, buddy. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna skewer the critics. You got it, my dude. If you were a hot dog, would you still eat a Frank? Also, Bobby Butters, if Frank were a hot dog, would you eat him? Don't eat me. No. If you were a hot dog, would you eat yourself? Do I want to just play this? Start gaining that life? That sweet, sweet I life? I think so. This feels good. Always draws his life gain land. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I'm like the 1% when it comes to stream. If I were a hot dog, would I be a sandwich? No. If you were a hot dog, would you be alive? If you yes. were if you were a hot dog, would you rather be a sentient hot dog or a non-sentient hot dog? I think non-sentient. Because you can't move and stuff. And you just get eaten. Yeah, that, that sounds about right for my answer. So you don't want to be a sentient hot dog, you're saying? So can we just pass, gain some life, and keep up counterspell? Well, they can't skull crack us, I guess. Best Mel Brooks film. Discuss. Um, I'm a big Spaceballs fan. It's a pretty good one. Who hasn't heard of yogurt? Spaceballs the flamethrower? I actually appreciate men in tights a lot. I'm pretty sure if they don't have a way to deal with this, they just can't win, right? This is pretty much insane getting two life a turn. It negates almost every draw they could have. <laughs> so I I um I I saw Men in Tights when I was younger, probably like probably like under sixteen, I think. And um, I always thought because I liked it at that age that it was just a that I was just liking one of the worst Mel, Mel Brooks films, but I just liked it because I was a kid. But it's nice to hear that it still holds up. You know what I mean? Because I ha actually had no idea. I'm like, I don't know if this movie's good or not, but I kind of liked it. I don't think I've ever seen that. You haven't seen Robin Hood Men in Tights? Don't think so. It's got Dave Chappelle in it. What's wrong with you? Who raised you? A rock. That's <laughs> a rock is right. The the country of Iraq. Yeah, the country of Iraq raised me. Wow, that's crazy. Ah, uh, you know, Iraq. It's right on the map next to Iroop. Well, I was thinking it was more close to Iran, Iran and Saudi Arabia. I was trying to make a joke out of the other country that sounds like it. Never mind. Iroop? Yeah, I didn't want to say Iran because that was real. I wanted to say something funny, but it didn't work. And I, you know what? It wasn't my best work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your honesty. It's nice to be. I mean, it's a good quality to be critical of your own work. They haven't played anything, and I get to I get to go double counter spell and accumulated knowledge. Pfft. They're basically dead. Anyway, it's really been interesting to see that you're the crown prince of Iran. Iraq? Iroop? <laughs> Aruba? Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to counter my accumulated knowledge? No. You are not. God, I got to draw land here too? Oh my god. Do you look... Have you seen my hand? It's unbelievable. Are you exploding right now? A little bit. I think you burped like six times in a row there. No. Come maybe. on. Six times. Don't lie. It's no, it was six times. You're crazy. It felt like 17 times. What's your favorite Lionel Richie song and why is it Dancing on the Ceiling? Wow. 
I'm sorry, what? Oh. Michael, you're really weird, dude. <laughs> Hi, I'm the price of iRoop. I'm the prince of iRoop, and I need you to send me a thousand dollars so I can transfer you a part of my great fortune. That actually sounds like a good deal. Mike, what's your email address? One two three chicken Sunday at yahoo.com. One two three chicken Sunday at yahoo.com. Feel free to send Mike all your one two three chicken Sunday emails <laughs> at yahoo.com. You should register that domain name right now so you can have it. It's totally available. Super Fritz, have a good afternoon, buddy. Would you say it's totally available? You don't think uh, you don't think one two three chicken Sunday is taken? I have my doubts. Well, I want to say no. I, I have better things to do than counter your your little dirt burgles. Man, recoil is pretty bad here, but. I think it's almost better to just get rid of the recoil. Dancing on the scene. Oh. Are you okay? That's, if you wear them too long, it's weird because you have no peripheral vision. I don't think you have peripheral vision anyway. I think that's just a that's just what big big eye wear wants you to think. Oh. Hmm. Oh, this is what you're gonna do with your life? Nah, B. That ain't me. Are we gonna have a war? I knew we were going to have a war. We feuding, boys. This literally... Hydroblast and Pyroblast are so broken. Like, what were they thinking? And it's funny because only red and blue have those colors. They'll have those uh, those cards. Whoop, 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 whoop. I guess we could actually just play angler here and keep accumulated knowledge and hydro blast up that seems fine yeah I'm game dancing on the sea man what's your favorite Paul Simon song chicken the Chinese the Chinese fake, chicken yep he's gonna make up a fake Paul Simon song yep that's what I thought yeah, I don't really even know who Paul Simon is. You don't even know who Paul Simon is? Nope. Is this a joke? Nope. You gotta be kidding me. I can't believe you don't know the end of the song. None of that was English. You're correct. I mean, we have three counter spells in hand. They have five cards. So we can counter three of the cards in their hand. And we can make them discard two more, so... Yeah, you know about 50 ways to leave your scrober? No. That's a good one. That was aggressive. Calm down, mate. I'm not your mate, Michael. What is the lane wolf to the face? Sure. Oh, wow. Jesus. The rich get richer. Well, they just lose next turn if they don't answer to these guys. These fatty boom baddies. Check Twitter. All right. One, two, three, chicken Sunday at Yahoo. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. Oh, yep, that's hilarious. Well, it appears you guys were too late. Some, uh, one, two, three, chicken Sunday is now the property of Chris, so. Wait, I just. Oh man, I just skipped past my combat phase. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that's awkward. I guess we gave them a whole nother turn. Doopsie doopsie. I mean, they're dead. And we have four counter spells. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna be. Uh, that's a. That's a. That's a Roger Dodger for me, dog. How is Fire Blast legal? 
We gonna do this again? Buddy. I got nothing but counter spells for you. Oh, uh, okay. So now we're gonna probe and queue up Hydro Blast. Hydro B. And then this game just ends. See, and this is why when people are like, you have the chat. Isn't the chat infinitely helpful? I mean, like, aren't you basically cheating because you have chat? And I'm like, buddy, I just skipped through my attack phase and I just gave my opponent an extra turn because of chat. So why don't you just shut up? Hadra B, Hadra Y. <laughs> okay, that's a solid meme. There, that's not what I wanted to do. See, this is what I mean. I'm literally laughing at memes in the chat and I'm playing everything incorrectly. They thought we kicked it though. I thought it was off. You go to six, it's fine. Oh, that's hilarious. Uh, let's get rid of Disfigure and Preordain. I'm just going to play the island here. Wow. I thought the probe was kicked! <clears throat> that's gas, dude. Mike B, I'll let you have access to 123 Chicken Sunday at Yahoo.com, but you have to let me have the last square of Mozzarella Manor Square at Magiano's. Um, that's the joke, Chris. There never is a last square. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you remember the rules there, but there literally is no last square. Also, Chris, when are you coming to visit? Because we will totally go to Maggiano's every day. We're two on right now. We're killing it. I'm busy putting together my first cube, and I know everyone's cube is different, but I was just curious as to how you decided to include what was and wasn't in your cube. It's hard. I, that is, it is very hard. It is a 100% hard, especially because my cube is 360 instead of 540. So you have a lot less choices and every choice is more important. Um, the main thing I did was I started with the vintage cube on magic online, it's like the holiday powered cube. And I took out the cards that were redundant. So if there are multiple cards that did the same exact thing, except for like mono red, because you want like a, you want redundancy in the mono red deck. But, uh, like, so green, you'd have cards like Reclamation Sage, and you'd have Night of Autumn, and you'd have, you know, like, you'd have, like, three cards that did the same thing. So I took out a lot of the redundant cards. And then the other thing I did was I took out Storm altogether. Because I had to cut certain archetypes. And as far as archetypes go in the cube, Storm is the one archetype that has so many dead cards that don't go into any other archetype. Right? Like... Oh, Cabal Ritual, Seething Song, um, Desperate Ritual. Like, all these cards are dead in every other deck. No one plays them in any other deck other than Storm. Lion's Eye Diamond, you know? So you're just, it's just so easy to cut Storm from the cube. Brain Freeze, Tendrils of Agony. Like, they're the most narrow cards in the cube because they only go in Storm. So once you take out Storm, you get, like, a lot of free slots. Oh, wow. That's terrible. Oh, wow. That's terrible. I'm going to keep this because we're we get a scry. Do you draft fewer than eight? Um, do you draft with fewer than eight or just have no variation? What does that mean? The thing I like about 360 is that you're drafting every card. So when I have eight people in a cube, we're drafting every card in the cube. So you're not like trying to draft Splinter Twin and then realizing that, oh no, the Splinter Twin and the Kiki G here are actually in the cube still. That's what I really dislike because you can start drafting archetypes and realize that a lot of the components for those archetypes are in the sideboard or, or not in the not in the draft not among the drafted cards. That's why I don't like greater than 360. I like 360 because all the cards are in the cube and every card is being drafted every time. What is this what is Whale of the Nim? Okay, we're doing good. What are you doing? Moving my hand. How's that working out for you? Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
Saber Rider. Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back, buddy. Really appreciate it. I feel like that is... Oh, wow. Another preordain, huh? Well, see you later. I want to discard a horror, actually. How many blue, black... How many black, blue decks are in this format? Seven. Because then I have an excuse in my draft train. I'm like, well, I... I got it. I think my deck would have been a lot better, but I think a lot of the cards I was looking for were, weren't, they just weren't drafted this time. If you're not starting from a preset list, one of the most important things you can do is consider what your draft archetypes are, and if a card fits with one or more of them. Yeah, that's I agree with that. Generally speaking, aiming to support multiple strategies is handy and helps decide which cards. I agree. When you have a card that only goes into... Oh my god. When you have a card that only goes into one archetype, it's pretty rough. What is this deck even doing? I guess it doesn't matter because we're dying. Is this living end? Are they living ending us with the uh, with the uncommon living end? They exhumed that dude? Oh, we should have we should discard the Denrova Horror. Well, all right. One land seems normal. Have you ever played Commander Cube? I don't even know what that is. So I actually know what it is. I don't know how it works though. But no, I haven't. I don't know what that is. Okay, it's not about you. Okay. Well, calm down. I'm not excited. You're so excited right now. Excited? Yeah. Michael, I want you to listen to me really carefully. No. Dang it. I'm going to bring in these guys. I'm going to bring in Dispel, Duress, and probably like one and all. I think this is like our... You look really pretty with your glasses on, you know. Thank you. You're welcome. A sighted, and I just e sighted, and I just can't e hide it. That's that's something right there. I'm so excited. I'm actually getting a few Mana Traders emails at the moment, so I'll let you guys know if you were looking for a way, uh, a sweet subscription service to rent or borrow MTGO cards, Magic Online cards, or physical paper cards, uh, definitely check out ManaTraders.com. The link is in my description below, and you can also find the promo code you can use to get 20% off your first three months, which is a pretty sweet deal. I know a lot of people want to just like test games or uh, get a lot of practice in on Magic Online, but they don't want to buy all the cards. Um, so it's a great it's a great service for that because it lets you borrow uh, you know what, depending on what level you have a certain number of tickets worth of cards every month you can send them back and then get different cards so you can try different decks it's a really sweet service so uh, definitely be sure to check that out uh, it's manatraders.com and the link is in the description below and be sure to use the promo code for twenty percent off the first three months it's a pretty sweet deal And then, yeah, I, I like, sometimes I bring Mike on and I'm just like, hey man, can you actually just shake your head back and forth for a little bit and be weird? Yes. I can do that for you. Oh, Logitech G910 Orion Spectrum. I'm Googling it right now. I love new computer components, even when I don't need them. I'm just like, I have a DOS, DOS keyboard. I think it's the professional one. And I don't need a new keyboard, but I always see like sweet RGB keyboards and I'm like, oh yes. <laughs> also this, this keyboard looks great um i really like wireless keyboards though because i like minimizing the number of cords on my desk yeah i'll keep this hand and in my life my favorite thing about mike is that he's so excited and he just can't hide it i'm about to lose control and i think i like it do you like it That's one lonely sandbar.
I'm tempted to duress and preordain. I think we're going to do that. What do you got here, my dude? Forbidden alchemy, dispel, counterspell. Wow, that's a lot of things. Two Demir aqueducts. The rich get richer. I don't think I care about alchemy. I don't think I care about probe. I think I just want to get rid of counterspell. Now I want to hit lands. I'm going to bottom this. We'll top this guy. Mike's so excited. And it's game headed. I'm about to lose control and Mike thinks he likes it. Okay, so one aqueduct is gone and they bounced some kind of nonsense. Well, So if we just play Thorn of the Black Rose, we just win the game, right? Probably. Okay, so we know they have Demir Aqueduct, Dispel, Forbidden Alchemy, Probe, and one other land. They've drawn two cards. Don't counter my thing. You'd have to draw a counter spell in two cards you did not. Oh, that's pretty good. Don't go stealing my thing. Don't go stealing my thing. Are you done? For now. For now. Don't go breaking Mike B. Okay, cards of Phyrexian mana cost are now considered colorless except Birthing Pod. I can't be the only one who's put Dismember and Phyrexian Metamorph in decks where I can only cast them with their Phyrexian mana cost. You're definitely not. Who wrote this? Chion? All right. Given that these cards have proven to be powerful enough to go in any decks, they will now be considered colorless cards. Birthing Pod is the exception here as the only reasonable way this card can be viable is in a creature heavy green deck. Sure. I can get, I can get, I get that. Why, you ditched two other Forbidden Alchemies? You had two Forbidden Alchemies in your... You Forbidden Alchemied and then hit two other Forbidden Alchemies? That's crazy, dude. Don't go breaking Mike's heart. Can you guys not go breaking Mike's heart? He'd appreciate it. Can we recoil this Demir Aqueduct? Oh, no, they get to discard. This is so much good for them, isn't it? Oh, it's not. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> don't go breaking Mike's heart thank you I don't want either of these of vast games you are I'm, I am your dad he's right that's true thank you so much for the reset buddy welcome back now I wish I just played this oh I like this though more colorless cards. The ratio of colorless cards to color cards in Legacy Cube is significantly lower than it is for other cubes. We have decided to add a few more colorless cards to have it be more in line with other cubes. The increased number of colorless cards should add a bit more flexibility during the draft. All right, I can get behind all these things. Now I'm gonna Denrover Horror this. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, let's do it. Island, island. Dang it. Don't go breaking Mike's heart. Do, do, do. It's good. Reduction in planeswalkers. Oh no. Lots of people love planeswalkers as they are hard to remove and consistently provide value over time. That said, we seem to be over on the number of walkers. More people are drafting five color super friends with a relatively high frequency. I, I used to love that archetype, even in Legacy Cube. It was very, very strong. Uh, we don't necessarily want to see battlefields bogged down with a bunch of planeswalkers either. We are starting off by cutting six planeswalkers and two double face planeswalkers, and we'll continue monitoring from there. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'm currently on pace to eat zero jello cups this year. Well, there's still time, buddy. So we know you still have one Demir Aqueduct, a Dispel, a Probe, and a Preordain. That's fascinating. Oh, you actually played the Dispel. You did not play anything else, though. Oh no. <clears throat> oh boy. Is that the sound of your people? Yes. That is correct. Wait, how did they get the. Oh no. I forgot about this. Oh no. This is bad. 
This is not good. This is not good. Do you just eat both of these guys? That's pretty cool. Don't go breaking Mike's heart. Uh, that was the other aqueduct. Oh, they discarded both aqueducts. You're right. Oh wow, we just get the get the monarchy, buddy. You don't even know my monarch status. Oh man, Gurmag Angler is worse now. It's still pretty good though. I can't cast. Yeah. That, Sure you can if you tap out. I don't want to do that. Can you stop breaking my heart? Never. Don't go breaking my heart, Michael. Um, Actually, Augur might be better than a second thorn. So now if they... Could have bounced the sandbar. <coughs> What'd you say to me? Could have bounced the sandbar. Why? I want, my blue, I want more blue sources. I got counterspell in hand. Does it still say arena things? I totally updated it to Pauper Modern, etc. Did I not? Did I not? Did I not? It says Pauper Modern, etc. You, you, you sneaky, you sneaky biscuit. Sneaky bisque. Sneaky Bisque. Oh, here's an interesting excerpt that I just received. London Mulligan testing. From April 10th to May 1st, the London Mulligan will be used... Oh, so things are happening in the background. I don't know what it is. Uh, used on Magic Online. This Mulligan is part of an experiment run by Magic R&D and their never-ending efforts to improve the game we all know and love. This will apply to all formats and all events and casual games. Wow. That's a, that's a long time to test it. As MTGO is the best and largest way to play classic formats like Legacy and Vintage, this test will provide a critical mass of data to help R&D make a final determination whether to adopt this mulligan for Magic as a whole, and importantly, it will allow Mystic Championship competitors to practice their, ma their modern game under the same conditions that they'll face in London. This is actually, that's actually great. I am thrilled. Stop stealing my monarchy. Can I bounce the monarchy? Yes. Just try it. Let's try it, how dare you? I feel like they have a lot more things going on than we do, and I'm kind of I'm kind of afraid of it. Thanks, Rufon. Huh? Well, see you later. See you later is right. I don't know how to deal with that. What do you do when you want both of these things? You can keep one, I guess. Don't go break in Mike's part. No, don't go break in Mike's part. Burm, burm, burm. Maybe they decked themselves, actually. Oh, we hit, we whiffed. I guess we should have played that first, then we could have got the other one. Oh, well, that's sad, isn't it? It's sad, isn't it? Oh, look, the next card is also... Uh, wow. So the, 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 the little three cards we hit with Augur Bulls were flanked by instants. That's fantastic. I'm okay with this. Is that a thing? Stream info? Stream details? I don't know what the... Are you fixing your glasses? Yeah. I should go to the optometrist with those glasses and be like, I think I have a real vision problem. River details? <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, I'll discard this and this. Suck it. Got him. Mm. 
Yep, you got it, my dude. I don't know what they have here. I'm pretty sure they use this preordain. I think they still have one probe. One toilet, one seat, one beer. <laughs> Dude, I can't get over how much you lost it at that. That was hilarious. Well, that just sounds like the beautiful people. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful Mike Bees, the beautiful Mike Bees. Oh. Be <laughs> and I don't want ya, and I don't need ya. Don't bother to resist or I'll beat ya. That's rude. What? Which part? It's Alpha, man. He dead. I don't think he dead. He dead. Well, you know, no, I don't think so. Then why attack with these dudes? Because I want to get the monarchy back. Uh, you sly dog. Is that sly? Sly. I'm going to draw a card. Those glasses make Mike look awake. This is just outlandish. Wow. That's the point. They're, that's that's why Kerwick got them because now he can never he, look you awake. You never know when I'm not when I'm sleeping. He can never look not awake as I said. Sleeping right now, you don't even know. But you're still talking. Exactly. Huh. 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 That man is asleep. <laughs> you thought we didn't notice. We did. But we did. That's from Avengers. That's that's a solid meme right there. That man is playing Galaga. Of course they have it. They never don't have it. It's very it's very wonderful. We live in a wonderful time where your opponents always have it. We get to draw one card and and, and we're gonna hope it's a good a good one. It was not a, it was not a good one. It might be the worst of cards. It was the blurst of the best of cards. It was the blurst of cards. Um. Yeah, we're still gonna attack with this. If they want to double block, then I'll just kill the Moldrift and they have no way to get the Monarchy. I don't think they're going to block with anything, though, so that's cool. Mm, that's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, that that's an instant. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <clears throat> oh, boy. Why don't we ever draw our Moldrifters? It's kind of unbelievable. <clears throat> Aren't we only playing, like, one, though? We're playing three Moldrifters in our deck. Really? Yes, I don't think I've cast one. Or two. We have two Muldrifters. I still feel like we should have drawn at least one. Hey, you should just the manager just people that to put a subscription tier between 10 and 35. It seems like a pretty large jump. I will actually... Uh, I'll mention that. But I don't want you and I don't need you. Don't bother. Mana traders. They discarded a Chainer's Educt. Chainer's Aqueduct. Okay. Mike, can you please say how many licks does it take to get to the center of Tizzy Pop? One, ah, two, ah, crunch while wearing those glasses. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tizzy Pop? One, a two. There you go. Can you do it again, but with, uh, with a British accent? That's the wrong one. Why did they look? Why did they change? Oh, my, I guess mine didn't change. Did yours change? I'm, sli I'm slouching. Slouching. You need to work on your posture, Michael. You need to work on your stupid face. Buddy, I work on my face every day. There you go. <laughs> there you go. His beauty knows no bounds. He looks like a, he is like a human owl. Beautiful. God, he's just so beautiful. 
I want to draw good cards. Can I draw accumulated knowledge into a mall drifter? I just want to draw some good cards. That's it's actually not terrible. Like they're going to eat one of these guys, which is okay, because if they ever exhume, I want to be able to get one back. Hey, Mike, do you know the POE streamer Matt Hill? What's POE? I, I don't know who that is. I'm pretty sure when you either sub or follow him, it shows you with the hat saying, well, wait, wow, that's... <laughs> that's a, oh, that's something. That is... That's going to be a yikes from me, dog. That is also going to be a yikes from me. There's a lot of yikeses happening here. I'm oh, sorry, what? Mao. That was good. What was good? Stupid face. My stupid face was good? Got him. Did you get him? If I only had my B. Why do you keep saying Matt Hill? No one knows who that is. We don't watch POE. I don't even know what that is. I think it's like a game called Path of Exile. Cool. Shut up, Michael. Just shut up. You shut up. You Why don't you shut Melvin? up? Why don't you shut up? What? That's right. I called you a Melvin. Wow, that's messed up, dude. I watch, I watch Poe and no Matt Hill. So there, I guess you got. I guess, I guess there you go. Stop exiling my graveyard. Stop it's exhuming rather... your things. Oh, I'm gonna get my ball drifter back. Oh, I'm gonna get my ball drifter back. And you know, I had a bajuka bug and a ball drifter and an exhum. I had all the cards I could ever want. I'm gonna exhum again, and then I'm gonna play my river winder. And uh, you probably can't win because I have all these exhums. Uh. Why are you pushing those glasses gently? It's very weird. Why do you do anything? Touche. How many exiled accumulated knowledges are there? One, two, so there's one left in the deck. Pay three. One, two, yeah, this is fine. We can keep up counter spell. You know what, I don't care. Oh god, there's a black floating, you stupid game. I hate this game. Well, I really do Strong hate Strong words. I don't care. Strong words. Strong bad. I think we're just dead. I, this game is taking forever. For what it's worth, you can set up a wallet on Mana Traders where you put your winnings from leagues and they take out tickets from there first for anyone who are drawing from your PayPal. So if you win a lot, it's an initial. Oh, that's actually pretty sweet. You got it. Stop touching my things. I think I've earned these. You've earned them? Yeah, they're mine now. I don't think you've earned anything in your life. Well, I don't think you're a very nice person. I don't think you're alive anymore. I never was alive, fool. Oh my god. My name is Michael, I live in the garbage can. They call me Garbage Man Michael. Our opponent also has 14 cards left in her deck after this Monarch trigger. I've probably just been playing some stupid shuffle thing. No, they don't play stupid shuffle things. This is pauper. This is, man, this is a gentleman's format. You don't even know. Oh, a gentleman never shuffles? I've never shuffled, have you? Maybe once. <laughs> Typical. I need your big shuffles pocket. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Look, they kicked theirs. Remember the time we kicked, we didn't kick ours, but our opponent thought they did, and they're like, oh, in response, kill you. Uh, and we're like, no, no. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Lightning bolt. Goodbye. Goodbye, my two little beauties. I'll miss you. Will you? No, I don't give a shit. Wow, another exhum, huh? Do you even have a creature in there? What, for a Muldrifter? Come on. Where's my Wrath of God? They're not another a ten dimension. They're not a nine cards? Come on. So, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, I have a counter spell. I have seven cards. One of them will be a counter spell, and you won't be able to draw, and I won't be able to discard. Okay. Oh, there it is. I took a while to consider it because I wasn't sure if I really wanted to counter your spell, but it turns out that I did, and I enjoyed it very much. I had a good time countering your spell. I made a strategic decision based on the board state and the number of cards and things like that, and I decided that countering your card called Probe that was kicked was in my best interest, so I, I countered the spell. This is amazing. I agree. Glad you think so. This match has been bad. I agree. This match has been something. Is this what you guys deal with in the Probe community? In the, in the Popper community? I called it the Probe community. <laughs> Which makes sense because everyone's just playing probes. Is they? Is that is that your contribution to the stream? You just keep saying is they? This is like the first time I said that. Yeah, it's the it's the third. It's not the third time I said is they. That's a penetrating insight. Wow, wow. All right, we're two two now. That's almost a winning record. Okay, differences between the Vintage Legacy and Modern Cubes. Vintage. Vintage Cube is where everybody wants to do... Okay, hold on. Stretch it. Okay. Oh, vintage Cube is where everybody wants to do the most powerful and degenerate things in the history of magic. Many of these strategies are unlocked by the abundance of very powerful artifacts that provide mana. Mox and Soul Ring, Black Lotus, etc. Reanimate Gristlebrand on turn one. Channel out an Emrakul on turn two. Empty the Cheons. Okay, come on. For 20 on turn 4. That's just too... That's too subtle a meme to have on the mothership. That's... No, that's not. Come on. I love Paul more than anybody. Paul is the best, but... That feels like a really... Weird thing to put on the main page of the mothership when you're... Anyway. Uh, these are the types of things that you should expect to see from the Vintage Cube. We truly hold nothing back in this cube and want you to enjoy the power of our historically strongest combos and interactions. That is the Vintage Cube description. I will keep this hand. Legacy. Legacy Cube is an interesting spot as it lives in the space that's ex exactly between the Vintage and the Modern Cubes. In it, you'll find many of the powerful combos. It's fine. Combos that are available in Vintage Cube, but with a lack of powerful mana artifacts means the players will still be given a large window to interact before you threw the breach in your Emrakul. Still, many powerful strategies are viable. Leaning into those strategies during the draft will make, make it feel like you're drafting a constructed deck rather than a limited one. With Legacy Cube, you'll have access to powerful linear strategies, but still have good windows for counterplay. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, Sam, your deck was miserable and I hated you. No, just kidding. Good games, good games. Um, that was definitely a grindy, uh, pretty ridiculous match. We could have actually discarded this accumulated knowledge and then just played the other one. Oh, now we're definitely discarding this dude to Raven's Crime and then just drawing three. Okay, that was... I wasn't expecting to be wearing Were you this. not ready for that? I wasn't. That was not an expectation I had. Um, modern Cube is the newest edition of your Cube lineup. The type of gameplay expected from the Modern Cube is more about playing out permanence and playing a real game, quote-unquote real game of Magic. It is much more about creature combat and card advantage. You shouldn't expect to be combo killed out of nowhere at the rate that is available in older Cubes. There's a challenge when curating the modern cube as it will inherently be weaker than both the vintage and legacy cubes. True. Competing with those other cubes on that axis isn't an option, so we're going to take a different approach to make it fun. Our solution is to have the modern cube be one of the be the one with the most card churn. 
Every time the modern cube is run, we will infuse it with themes from recent sets. Expect to see a lot of sideways changes. What does that mean? Instead of the upgrades we usually apply to other cubes. Oh, so just like not not an upgrade, but a sideways. So like a an equivalent change, like updating like Abrupt Decay to Assassin's Trophy, for right. example. I don't know what we're playing against here. Just fell into the pit, man. I fell into the pit. Unearthed. Oh, you're just cycling this. Okay, sure. Deal. Is that a Frexian negator? Maybe. Why, why can't you just confirm? Why can't you just say yes or no? Because I don't know the answer. Okay, Frank. the card says return a creature with converted mana cost three or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. How much mm -hmm. does Phyrexian Negator cost? Phyrexian Negator? Yeah. It's not like a five mana dude. Oh my god! This is why you can't. This is why you can't answer the questions. Negator. Yeah. There you go. I fell in in the pit. Phyrexian Negator is a three mana five five. Oh, he's that guy. Okay. Oh, he's that guy. That does look like him. Take a look at this older one. I like the older better. You can tell because he's got the disturbed guy's chin thing and everything. So it's really... Uh, the disturbed guy. Yeah, the ooh ah, ah, ah guy. Ooh ah, ah, ah. Yeah, you know the you know the one. Oh, oh. Draw three. It's pretty good. It's real good. It's real oh. Oh, it's real good. Now we get rid of the Raven's Crime and their Chainer's Edict. Oh my god, this game just ended. I fell in in the pit, dude. Uh, the changelog for this update is large, but an overhaul for the Legacy Key was a long time coming. If you have questions or comments or concerns about the changes, make sure to send DMs to Luis Scott Vargas. He's always quick to yell at me about poor cube decisions. Hope you enjoy the over 100 changes made this time around. Happy. Whoa, 100 changes? Dang. That's actually pretty sweet gonna be quite the different cube all right so what's our plan here we're gonna play we want to play this we want to hit another i'm gonna hit an untapped land or something worse to discard oh that's actually not great maybe it is fine though what can we discard here counterspell they have one card in hand i'll discard a counterspell yeah because i, I want to hit a i want to guarantee to play this so i can play one of the other things okay well get rewarded i guess Phyrexian Gator. <clears throat> oh, they gained two life? Can I counter that? Can I stifle that? Sure. Why would you want to, though, dummy? Mm, yes. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we can actually queue up Disfigure. That's pretty nice. We can also just Gurmag Angler here, which is probably better, right? Oh, bring it home, my baby, Bumblebee. Won't Mike B be so proud of me? Do you guys know that jam? That that baby Bumblebee song? Who doesn't know that jam? That's Do you classic. really? Is it yeah. a classic? I actually didn't know. Like, I'm gonna block here because really, I just want to. Is this Popper? Okay. <laughs> Oh, that's sad. They tricked us. They tricked us with their tricky, tricky McTrickersons. Hmm. I have never played it. Cool story, Mike. Cool story, bro. We got four, five, six, seven. So we can actually play this and not this. So I'm just going to do that. Do you remember that time you fell in in the pit? How could I forget? Never, you'll never forget. I am robot. I am a robot. It's popcorn bag. Thank you so much for sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome back, buddy. My sub anniversary and Mike's birthday are on the same day. Yours can be too if you sub today or tomorrow. If you subbed yesterday, same thing. Yeah, you got it. So we know they have a land in hand. That's pretty good. Do you remember the time you fell in in the pit? How could I forget? Didn't you just say that? 
No. Maybe. Did he not just respond with how can I forget to the to the same question? I don't know what this deck does. They just make it just discard things. I have no idea what to bring in against this deck. Recoil didn't seem great. All the creatures in this format seem like they do stuff when they come into play. Dispel, maybe? For what? I don't know, my dude. Red Black Monarch? That's a deck? That's a deck? This format's crazy. Mike, do you remember that time you fell into the pit? What, are you singing it? Yeah. That's weird. I'm about to bust. Do you know who that is? That's one king of the hill. That's me, Michael. That's my voice. Yeah. Think about that, stupid. I'm not thinking about it because it's not true and you're <laughs> stupid. <laughs> okay, well, that's fair, I guess. Oh, God. What is this? Two blightnings? Dang, super aggro. I say, damn. I'm taking that. I'm taking one of them, I guess. Man, I was busy, busy falling in in the pit. I was busy. I was busy. I hate you so much. <laughs> I want to put this on top because it's an easy thing to discard too with the blightning. So. When did you did you send me that dragon's deck, that Heartless Summoning Dragon's deck? If you did, where so? Yep, here we go. One, two. Discard you, discard you. Well, it's hard to keep up with the chat sometimes, okay? Come on. Don't whiff. Don't be a whiffer. Yes. We wanna not no, Whiffer, don't. not a Bell Itcher. You think Itcher and Whiffer rhyme? No. <laughs> Dang it. No. What about Belly Sniffer? How about we want a Whiffer, not a Belly Sniffer? Maybe. Okay, well. Well, that duress is gone. So now we know you have Unearth and Swamp. What are you unearthing? Oh, you got another one. All right, all my cards are gone. And now we know you have two swamps in hand oh my goodness gracious well do we do we do we just shoot it i think we just shoot it off but but what uh, if they have any other discard which they seem to have in abundance yeah that's fair actually i fell in in the pit 17 turns, and this dude is Dunzo in the Bunzo. Sure. That's actually fine, because next turn we're going to be able to go land. Probe you. Keep one card. Discard your hand. It's going to be bonkers in my nonkers. You heard me. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. So you get to keep one. I'll keep the Gurmy. I'll keep Anglerino. Where'd your hand go, my dude? <laughs> That's the joke. He went into the trash can. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> That's kind of like a George Bush, you little George Bush Arena. It's kind of like a George Bush. Yeah. Your mom's kind of like a George Bush. My mom is like a George Bush. Mm -hmm. That's fascinating, Michael. Fascinating. The things you tell me are truly, truly spectacular. Let's delve to whoop whoop. Yeah, whoop whoop. I hate you so much. This is just one ones after they make you discard a card. They're two whatever. twos, man. Oh. It says their power and toughness right here on the board. Well, it's kind of hard to see with these. <laughs> That's probably true, actually. Yeah, I can't. Let me check. Hmm, you're right. Not ideal. Hey, man. Should we start a band, a new wave band with these? 
<laughs> that would be amazing. Like, we, all the members could just wear different versions of these glasses. And the music videos, just creepy shots of our faces. I, I don't see the problem. I'll be honest with you. I'm looking for a good shrubbery. Who says that? No one's like, you know what? I'm looking for a good shrubbery right now. Did she me kill this rat? Yeah, I killed the rat. No mercy. Am I a joke to you? <laughs> this is amazing. Why is the, why did that one get you so much? I don't know. Just the zoom ins and double zoom. I don't know. Cumulative knowledge. Counterspell. Where were you last turn, my dude? Can't have any rat dead if all the rats are dead. Oh, well, that's sad, I guess. Goodbye, graveyard. Oh, I'm, I'm Michael. I'm going to yawn today. Yawn today. <laughs> What's that called today? Do, 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 do. Called today. <laughs> hmm, I just took it. I have like a thing in my... I have like a piece of, like a little little food item stuck between my teeth. It's driving me nuts. It's driving me nuts. Like that seatbelt on my belt buckle. Steering wheel. Steering wheel on my belt buckle. <laughs> seatbelt, like the seatbelt on my belt buckle. Yeah, I'm real good. I don't know what any of that meant. I don't know what you mean. I'm getting real tired of you falling in in the pit, okay? can't help it yeah you can help it all I'm right drawn to it firebolt okay yeah i don't care about that you got it you killed our one three it wasn't it wasn't granulations look i gained a life even like what do you do about that you're basically dead <clears throat> lightning bolts him end it i don't have that card in my decal decular you decular decular. Oh my god. I'm gonna definitely get this after the round. I fell in in the bed. Listening to elder people talk on the phone is a real life to which I'm invited into a conversation and the people in the conversation can't see me. That's I don't have that many opportunities to listen to elder people on the phone, I'll be honest with you. You're gonna just attack for seven here and you have one card in hand? Are you gonna give all your creatures double strike or something? Terminate? Alright, this is interesting. I feel like you probably should have done that before. So now you don't know if you're dead on the board. Like, if you just did this first and realized it was going to get countered, you probably, you, then you could have not attacked, right? That was an interesting choice, I'm going to be honest with you. Anyway, oh, did Mikey get a haircut? He looks fab. Yeah, he also got some new glasses. Oh, we got one treasure chest. Let's open that bad boy up because I'm a glutton for punishment. What's it going to be? I fell in in the pit. Open one of these bad boys. Brrr. Oh, 15 play points and a howler. An old-fashioned howler. Dalkery, thank you so much for the opportunity to play this deck. Really hope that uh, hope that you got some laughs out of it. Hope you had a good time, and hopefully uh, this was this was worth it because I thought it was pretty sweet. Uh, Popper is an interesting format. I feel like it's super grindy. Like people think like, oh, it's just it's just common, so it's not super uh, super powerful, but like. There's a lot of powerful commons in Magic's history. Is that you? What? You mean like whistling noise? No. What are you doing? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I was making a weird face and kind of making a noise. Anyway, thank you so much for, for, for letting me check this out. If you guys want to have a deck critique by me or a plate or what have you, you can check out my Twitch profile. The, the information is in there. There's also the Patreon page as well that has information on that. But thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check out manatraders.com. The link is in the description below along with the promo code. You can check out coolstuffinc.com and you will get 5% off with promo code FRANK5. And 
You can also check out MeUndies.com slash Frank Lepore. You'll get 15% off along with free shipping and free returns. Check out that Heartless Summoning deck I sent you. We'll do that another time. But thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. If you're on Twitch, I'm not leaving. But uh, if you're on YouTube, I'll see you next time.